Hi, this is Eva Christofferson with the Quantum Astronomy Report for the 16th and 17th of August 2017. It's a Sunday, I hope you can see me. Uh, but we love the sun and it's so short here in Sweden the summer. Uh, the sun will the 16th be at and doing into in Europe in the afternoon 24 degrees of Leo exactly conjuncting the North Node. Sun is the life force, it's in Leo, it's the lion, the royalty, the self, the most uh, magnificent, magnificent expression of yourself. And the North Node is our collective destiny right now exactly here and the north node will be here at the upcoming uh, solar eclipse the 21st of august at 24 degrees and to, today the 16th is, is an activation of that degree 24 degrees it's in several places in this shot and we also have the moon in gemini now in the 16th, it's in early Gemini in Sweden in the afternoon. It's 11, 12 degrees of Gemini. And then the 17th is go to the late. Uh, it's 12 degrees per day for the moon to travel. So it's only two, two and a half day per sign. So it will travel to late Gemini, the 17th. And Gemini and the moon is emotional curiosity, uh, emotional interconnection, the Gemini alchemy, the transmutation, interconnection between heaven and earth, spirit and body. And sure we need this in these times now because we have this ongoing Venus opposition to Pluto. For example, the Cancer Capricorn axis I spoke about earlier so much, the nurturing Cancer and the Capricorn, the false patriarchy, now already shifting to the new time, the new life. Saturn is our holographic reality with the ruler of Saturn, Saturn at Galactic Center now in the late Sagittarius. Set on the higher knowledge, and this is have been re re written. Our reality has already shifted, but we are still in our mind. I feel we are stuck in the old, but it has already. The earth has shifted, and you have shifted. Believe, trust in this, because. Uh, our reality is formed from within. Uranus in 28 degrees of Aries, the quantum I am, and quantum is everywhere, it's the quantum field. Uranus, the lightning, the quantum room, the ruler of, of Aquarius, where the south node is, the new age of Aquarius coming up to coming 2160 years saying it's an individual reality it's shaped from within we have codes that is unlocked in this life at the right time and it's codes from past and from future and it's from Andromeda Uranus is at Andromeda it's a lot of star seed awakening Pluto is at Vega the Lyra opposing Sirius in Cancer uh, we have other star point moon is now traveling through this band of star seed just left Pleiades going to Aldebaran coming into Orion's belt belty guys coming into cancer the 18th of August and of course the solar eclipse the 21st of August it at it's at the most royal of the royal four stars the Regulus now at zero degrees of Virgo. Mercury is there in Virgo, giving this quantum healing I spoke about. 
So we need to find this interconnection between spirit and body, heaven and earth, in us. We need to find the zero point, the balance, the transmutation of dark to light. And this is so important. I hope I can share my enthusiasm, my trust, my belief, because authenticity to believe, to trust, to have faith. That's the most important because then your emotional reality will change. As my is ongoing doing, I have challenges. I have Saturn in, in progress and NATO in second house. It's a lot of challenge with my love relations, with my self-worth, uh, with my abundance. And this, to have trust in what we are and also to be in that emotional state. I have been so many years in the lack consciousness, the emotional state of worries, of lack, of disbelief, of scares, uh, and therefore that has mirrored back in my relationships and in my um, yeah, economy has been a disaster, especially in my relationships, because I haven't been fully myself. But now I'm fully myself, and I'm stepping out of that poverty to go in the richness, in the abundance, and really doing it with the inner, with emotional, as the moon here in Gemini, the transmutation, to really go in that vibration and to leave the fear vibration. It's also a, a controlling vibration here in this three-dimensional earth phase that has been for thousands of years controlling us with fear. And we are now stepping out of that into the fifth dimension, into the love expression here on earth, changing everything everything and this is possible because we now for the first time has this understanding that it's individual that then they don't had at the, in Atlantis in the same way we have the understanding of the quantum field we have the awareness growing on in in so many souls on earth changing the vibration the energy for the collective not everyone will come or uh, be in this, but we can change our timeline and be be the new. <coughs> so, as you as you see, I'm very passionate about this because it's it's so important, and it's this star seed mission to be here in this time for me. It's to step into my royal Leo and to show myself. And Cancer and Leo is ruled by Moon and Sun, and those never go retrograde, they don't go uh, uh, backwards, no, back and backwards, but from us, they don't go backwards, not inwards, it's only possible to go forward. And the signs, Cancer and Leo, is in that way also, and the house is fourth and fifth. <coughs> Let go of the density of the old, leaving that, the blockage in the uh, chakras, as you see my throat. I have a blockage here, I know. But I have to go through my evolution, as you do. And this starseed awakening has been so very re revealing and important for me. Because it's, it gives, for example, with love, I understand that. Uh, people that I really have loved is also from other times, past and future, coming here and now. And that gives me, like this, a relief. It's not that important that it, it occurs in this life. That the, What this meant is meant in, in this life is what we are shaping now. And the star seeds are locked. And we have codes. Unlocking these codes in us will give a big change to us and the earth. And unlocking 
is like keys and this upcoming solar eclipse in this period before and afterwards is a big unlocking of the coals in you, in me, in many of our stars, our star seeds. So if you are a star seed, you can have a reading with me. Check the details below. I also give natal, progressive and draconic chart readings. Uh, it has changed so much. It's only three or four months ago since I got my Starseed Awakening by Miro Matu at Sun Soul Astrology. And I, it's, it's a revelation. You can see it, I hope, in me. It's really important. And this today, the 16th, the Sun is at 24 degrees. It's exactly together conjunct with the North Node, our collective density, destiny, not density, destiny today. And this is a very personal, important degree for me, uh, because I have my natal Pluto at 22 degrees, but I have my progressed Pluto here now. Progressed is the energy right now. I'm also, the sun moves one degree per year in the progressed chart. But my energy just now is symbolized by Pluto, the soul at 24 degrees of Leo, and my draconic chart, my soul, has the sun at 24 degrees of Leo. Uh, and I want to read this from Inside Degree by Elias Lonsdale. This 24 degrees of Leo, and this is the sunrise over Stonehenge. Uh, this is the Shandra symbol, sunrise over Stonehenge. And if you don't, you, I, you know about Stonehenge. And it's not only the megalithic the symbolism, but it's also the one of the Earth's chakras. I think it's the throat chakra, the fifth chakra. That's that's this, that's Stonehenge. Uh, sunrise over Stonehenge. Immortal stature, undiminished interior presence, a throwback to heroic times and places, character elevated, the universal code upheld. You are stalwart, uncompromising, and even rabid. Vertical understanding and elegance, executive ah, sensibility. Nobility and the core of human nature embodied. You have a subtle undertone of magic and miracle, yet you are often overly quiet, simple and straight. All goes into spirit, poignant and evocative and moving. That's inside degree for 24 degrees of Leo. It's today, the sun and the north node. And it's a big part of this grand fire trine we have with Uranus in late Aries and with the Saturn and uh, Black Moon Lilith at the uh, galactic center in Sagittarius. This flowing, flowing energy of grand fire, a rebirth of everything. It's such a possibility this time. So thanks for listening. Take deep care of yourself in these trans transformative times, and bye-bye.